just purchased 120 acres of prime Iowa farm ground. So there is the home farm. Now what we're building is a John Deere dealership. I know Buck has a John Deere dealership, but we're going to compete with them, man. It's never going to look like this again. This is a crazy moment. We just purchased the ground, so I gotta do something. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> but seriously, guys, work starts now. Let's get going, man. So I'm gonna head back to the farm. We're gonna pick up a dozer, and I'm also probably gonna get a ripper of some sort. I feel like putting the dozer blades down is gonna do good, but it's not gonna do the best. So what I wanna do is get a ripper to probably pull behind the 8970. We could use the land all we have there, but I'm not sure. I wanna get something more construction type ish that's that's more for finishing soil to have a good soil finish now before we get started i want to introduce the show sponsor that's going to be sponsoring the channel for the next couple of months you'll see it and you'll see you'll see build iowa in a couple different videos and basically they're looking for people who are who are coming out of high school or graduating high school in a couple years and are trying to figure out what they want to do and uh they represent the construction industry of iowa and they're going to showcase all the jobs available but anyways, check this out, guys. Also, I went pheasant hunting last weekend. So this is literally like when we went with pheasant hunting. So you'll see the uh, how we did, I guess. Hey, guys, I'm here with Ben from Master Builders of Iowa, which is a sponsor of this video. He's going to talk about Master Builders of Iowa and the opportunities across Iowa. If you're, th if you're looking to either go to college or you wanting to go in the construction industry or thinking about doing a hands-on job. Hey, guys, I wanted to tell you about Build Iowa. Build Iowa is our marketing campaign focused on the commercial construction industry. We focus on 23 different careers that are some of the most rewarding, high-paying careers that are out there right now. Some require a four-year degree, some require some training, some don't require anything past the high school diploma. But you know what? There's some incredible opportunities out there. I want you all to check them out. www.buildiowa.org. Click on the link below. When you get on the site, there's 23 different careers that we have listed out. Whether you want to be a crane operator, you want to be an estimator, you want to go to be a laborer, whatever it is, we have those detailed on the site. We'll talk about pay. We'll tell you where the what the average annual pay is. We'll tell you about the training opportunities that are available right now. And we'll fill you in on our MBI members and their open positions currently. So check out the job board through Build Iowa. Incredible jobs open right now so get over there check it out there's some really really cool stuff buildiowa.org hello hey austin you coming in to work today yeah sure if you need me yeah uh we have that uh dealership we're getting going with the dealership today so oh, really yeah uh that's it's gonna be a long task you we're, you're gonna be putting a lot of hours in the dozer but what i need you to do is i i have a chisel plow that i'm borrowing from a friend if you could pick that up, uh, what truck are you bringing? Your F-450? Yeah. Okay, yeah. If you could pick that chisel plow up, bring it here. We're going to use that to kind of break up this ground a little bit so we can get the dozer in there. You don't expect me to pull that with my F-450, eh? Hey. The chisel plow. Hey. Yes, yes. I'm talking about, like, working with it. Like, I, I'm fine oh, pulling it oh. to the farm. I'm talking about, like, no, working no, with no, it. No, 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 no. Your F-450, yeah, no, she can't handle that. No, we'll, well hook her I up to the but... Okay, man. Hey, it's up to you. We can put, we can hook your F450 up to that shows the bomb. I'm down. I'm cool with that. That'd be cool. All right, I'll give it a try. Okay. I'd be willing to give it a try. Okay. I, okay. Pull I, her I'll down here. Try. Pull her out to the field. I'm gonna pull the A970 just in case. I don't want to. Where, where's this? Where's this chisel plow? It's at John's place. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, I'll talk to you later. Sounds good. I'll see you when you get here. All right. Yep. Bye. Ciao. So even though we're going right down the road, I still gotta move this dozer without ruining the road. Fire the old D8 up. Let's get going. I already got some Red Bull up in there. So I'm mainly going to use the dozer for grading. Because uh, that field that we purchased isn't the most level. So to just grade it off. Come in with a nice grade. And then we're going to start the construction process. of Putting the buildings down. Um, and guys, to be honest, a lot of it I try to make as realistic as possible. As, as, realistic, as, as, much, as realistic as you can in farm sim. There's some things that's just... it's. It's not going to be perfect. She's loaded. We'll let that truck go by and then we'll head on down there. So it's right up the road. And one of the reasons why I didn't put it exactly across the street is because with all these mods in one spot, it, uh, it gets, gets a little, it gets a little funky on my PC. That's just like with anything, even if, if you have the best PC in the world and you have all the mods on one spot, things get a little spoofy. So, um, yeah. Okay, dozer's here. We don't have an excavator anymore, so I don't have any excavator to bring it all. So I'm gonna hop back in the truck, run the truck back, and bring the 8970. Hopefully, Austin's bringing that chisel pile. I mean, this first part's just getting getting ground prepped. But by the end of this video, I hope I hope to have this thing built. That'd be crazy. There's Austin with his pickup truck. Now, a little update on the farm, actually. If you guys watched last episode, 
we have everything planted. That's right, Clutch and Austin knocked it out. I didn't get much planted, and then here comes Clutch and Austin, they get like, like a ton planted. So everything is planned, everything's in the ground. I wish I probably could have got one more tape, but those guys, man, those guys went at it. Those guys went hard, they knocked her all out. It's nice farming with big equipment. It really is. So like these two planters, we can unhook, we can put away. There may be some smaller fields actually that I need to I need to plant yet that they probably forgot about. Let's fire up Big Bertha and then uh, give her a little tug. Yo, Austin, you want to back me up? There we go. A little bit more. Yeah, you're good. Perfect. Okay, so uh, yeah. after I get going here, do you- Hold on, I, I can't really hear you. Oh, sorry. Do you right. want to hook up the uh, F450 after I get going here? Yeah, sure. Sure. Oh, okay. Okay. We'll, uh, yeah, I'm going to drop her down and we'll get going then. All right. And then, I'm, so I'm going to clear through here. If you want, you can, there's a dozer blade on the back of the D8 if you want to run that. But I, I figured the chisel pile will be easier. We'll get there's, this all. There's a dozer blade on the back of the D8. There's a, sorry, ripper on the back of the, back of the D8. My bad. There you go. Just, just making sure. Just making oh, sure. watch out. Oh, my gosh. Ooh. You almost got hit by the oh. Prius. <laughs> hey, maybe. Uh, luckily, I got, luckily, I got those, insurance. Those Priuses will uh, get you, man. Huh? Oh, yeah. Won't they? Your F450 what has a that, lot of experience with Priuses. Is this Jake? Is that Jake down there? I don't know. Does Jake okay. drive a Prius? Okay, well, uh, yeah. Let's get going, man. Yeah. Here we go. Breaking ground on the new John Deere dealer. Honestly, something I probably should have done is have Austin run, get another one of these chisel plows and have Austin run the 7R or the 8130 also. I mean, that probably would have worked out real good. So for now, I'm, I'm just kind of getting a lot laid out. We'll get this all laid out. Here, I'm going to lift her up. We'll swing around. We're just we're just working her for a little bit right now. And the 8970, it pulls at 10 mile an hour. <laughs> this big beast. Man, it is nice having this horsepower just going so fast. We'll get this knocked out pretty quick, I, I guess. The dozer's more gonna be for leveling out the land rather than ripping. Cause that ripper, the amount of the amount of work you can get done with that ripper is like nothing. Like look at that thing. That's all. That's all you can do. She does dig deep though. Look at that D8 go. She's tooting along. We're slowly getting there. She's a working. Well, we got her done. She is complete. We got her fairly leveled off. It is a little rolling hill. We're gonna build on top of a rolling hill. I have no idea what the name of the dealership is gonna be yet, but hey, we could do like something rolling hill. Hey, look who it is, Buck. There's old Buckarooey. He's actually our competition now, if you think about it. Hmm. Buck, how now you doing, what? man? I'm doing swell. Now, what the heck do you two lovebirds think you're doing out here? Well, Buck, somebody in this town is Monopoly, and they are running prices up like crazy, man. We can't keep up with this. Somebody needs a good, honest John Deere dealership in town. So, that's what I'm building, Buck. So, you're going to stay here and tell me that you're... You're you're building another Platte Valley dealer. Not Platte Valley. C and B. No, we haven't thought of the name yet. What is this gonna be? The uh, the G A, the G A dealer. What does G A stand for? Grant Austin. The Grant no, Austin. No, I'm not in on this. No, no, I'm just I'm just. He's just my right helper. Now. No, so I ain't the, in on this. <clears throat> okay then. That well, means Buck, you better give me some good prices. This guy know. wants to sell something for two cents, then that's his problem when he goes bankrupt. So. When I'm running the company the way I can and the way I should, and I'm making a profit, that's his fault for going bankrupt. Come on. This, is gonna, business, this is gonna be the Tesla John Deere dealership. I'm telling you, man. It's either oh, we're it going now? we're going bankrupt or, or we're making out good, man. Ten years from now. You'll see. You know, you know that hey, you know that new 8RX, man? I was talking to Deer about that already. We got that coming, Buck. 8RX. 8RX. Don't we got the Did Deer not spare? tell you about it yet? He doesn't know about the new huh? 8RX yet. What about the new sprayer? Yeah, we got that coming too. I don't think Deer is tell is telling him. The heck is it? Okay. Well, Wait, Buck. They supply Wait. me with what they need to, for me to sell. Do you so talk to corporate much? Like I said, I haven't been... I'm not the manager at that building yet. Well, actually, oh, let's correct right. that. Wait, Buck. How about if I hire you over on my John Deere dealer? You can be full manager. I like where I'm working right now. Buck, Boss hey. Boss is going to quit, and then the second he quits, I get the manager spot, and then right after that, I fire Tony. How I much do they, Buck, how much do they pay, though? Oh, I'm making... Uh, Solid 15 bucks an hour, plus every bonus I make off of every equipment piece I sell. Buck, I'll give you a solid salary of 150k to run my John Deere dealer. I'm not gonna, no, no deal. What? I'm making honest living up there at uh, Black Valley. I'm happy to He's be loyal. there. He's loyal, you gotta give him that. He is loyal. I like it. 
That makes me want you more. Oh, well, that sucks, because you ain't gonna get me. It's gonna be a rivalry, bud. You want to get <clears throat> you want to get business? You're gonna have to fight for it. Flat Valley's a strong company. We got places all over. We got places in Nebraska, we got places in uh I got I got, I got a few places What's down Nebraska? in Kansas. Oh, I'll tell you what it is, it's the greatest state known to man. We sit right in the middle of the country. Except for the town that's right in the middle of America is in Kansas, which is really sad. And apparently they have a giant ball of yarn somewhere in Kansas. Hmm. Well, I think you can too, and I wish you the best of luck, but I don't think you're going to take us out of business. We got a lot of oils. Yeah, I mean, uh, when you do go out of business, though, we do have a demolition company, me and Austin run. Feel free to give us a call. Oh, you want to touch on that building, sweet sun sunshine. Feel free to give us a call, Buck, man. You got my number. Uh, Buck, I have no clue about this demolition company. That's nice, because guess what? I ain't going to be using it very much. You want to get a good deal, you know where to find me. Did he get a haircut? Maybe. Yeah. I'm bald now, boys. Dude's one crazy mother trucker. Agreed. We gotta beat him. I feel like he's gonna get smoked by that Prius. <laughs> yeah. She's gonna get well, him. We gotta all right, beat well, Buck. Um, um, we, we Tensions better, we better get are soaring, man. We gotta put some money on this. We gotta beat him. I'm, I love Buck to death, man. He's my best friend. We are gonna sell more tractors than Buck. You know who'd be great? He'd be a great salesperson. He would. He would. I love him. No, 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 no. I'm just saying. I don't you know, know why he doesn't come. Great. I offered him no, no. 150 grand a year. Okay, you know who would be a great salesperson though? You know your old buddy Chow from Ravenport? Chow. Chow. <laughs> he knows how to oh, sell yeah. some chickens. <laughs> if he could sell chickens as well as he could sell track, he'd be golden. He'd be golden. Or the other way around. And we're a trucking. Deer was like, hey, we have these tractors sitting here. You better come pick them up. And I'm like, dude, I'm not even finished with my dealership yet. We have to put lighting up yet. Um, that thing's not lit at all. We have to put the used inventory section needs a lot of work still. And they're like, come pick them up. And I'm like, okay, whatever, I'll pick them up. So I think we have some six R's. We got to bring back maybe a seven R. Uh, but right now, I don't even have a semi for the for the for the John Deere dealership. Like, I'm planning to buy a couple of semis, like a Mac or something, for there. 
And right now we don't have anything. We just have this old, we just have this old four. Well, she'll get the job done. Don't get me wrong. See, I didn't think I would be the one transporting these tractors. Well, at first, I guess I didn't think, I didn't think that I would be getting them today. So I wasn't planning for this, but we have the 7R back there. And then we have a 6R with a loader. Those are like, we want you to start taking the small stuff and then we'll send you out the large stuff. So hopefully they're actually shipping out uh, the larger equipment, but we're starting to get some on here. And I really don't want to showcase these yet out here at all because my my whole place isn't even done. But as you drive down this road, you roll into the John Deere dealer. Yes, there's a tree that's terribly, it doesn't work with seasons. So that that's why it looks so weird. But here's the dealer so far. The sign, I need to work on that a little bit. And then the driveway here, there's an issue. I'll explain it later. I'm gonna get these unloaded, but I also want to walk through the dealer as of right now. So you walk in, you have the sign. This is what we have done so far. We have the American flag. I kind of like this feature. I also tossed up flowers up here, all over here. So I have like a flower bed. And then I'm planning on putting like a 9RX or 9RT or just like one of our big tractors up here, like on the main stage, I guess you could call it. And then out here is where we're gonna have the used lot. So this is like a little more trash here. I don't mean to call it trash, but it's a, like, it's a dirt road. It's not really paved. And then we'll put uh, used equipment in there. We'll put used equipment under that shed. And then back here, it's probably going to be some more used equipment out here. Now, I, I think we may run out of room for used equipment. So I may have to extend it further back there. But that's what we got going now. The bushes, I like the bushes, but I think I overdid it a little bit on the bushes. Because, man, there are a ton of these around here. It looks kind of good. But now over here, I want to have kind of like a new area. So... It's a little, the ground's a little funky back here, but I was thinking about putting tractors all the way around here. So it's like a little circle. You can drive around, take a look at the new tractors. And then new tractors, maybe the front lawn, new tr and then new tractors all across here is what I'm planning on doing. So we'll just line up the equipment right here. Now I did shape this completely with the hill. So not everything's level. I don't know if I like it or not fully yet. But uh, we'll see, I guess. And then also, it says Platte Valley, but we'll change that eventually. This is this is kind of the old John Deere dealer. I like it, though. I really like it. Pull in here and work on equipment. And we got the shop over here. Yes, there's some grass growing through right now. I need to work on that. But this is what we got so far. It's not going to be the biggest dealership, but hope to do well. So for now, since the 7R is our biggest tractor, what I'm going to do is pull it up here. And as you can see, I kind of slope this down with a dozer to make a real, real nice slope coming down. So that way we can drive our equipment up and it's not all rocky. Here we go. I'm gonna put her up there, unfold the flashers. And you know what? For so I'm kind of an idiot and these flowers actually have like collisions to them. So it's like, it's literally like a mine through here. Like this is, you can see as I go over here, I'm going over bumps and the collisions of these. But we got the 7R unloaded and then the 6R. I may get rid of those flowers. Yeah, I think we're going to have to. Now the 6R that they sent me also has a loader to it, but they didn't give me a bucket to the loader. But I have a feeling stuff like this, like a 6R is going to sell quick. I know there's a lot of hay operations around here, which man, I'd be picking up one of these or we could lease one to you. Feel free. Give me a call. You got my number. 6R is just going to go up here. There we go. Not too bad. So for now, I'm going to keep the 8970 dozer outside here. Uh, Cause we got a lot more work to do yet. Austin's F450 is just sitting around here. Holy crap, dude. Did you guys see this thing getting a wreck the other day? Yeah, he didn't want me to tell you guys, but man, he wrecked this thing. Holy crap. Holy tamole. This was brand new. This is over, this is about a $100,000 truck and he just destroyed her. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. There's definitely a lot of work and honestly, a lot of the stuff I do, I don't like. So you'll see when I go through it, I'm like, taking away the stuff I put and it took me two hours to build this and this isn't even that good so uh, it's gonna take a while to finish this off but it'll it'll be fun by the way if you have any recommendations on like things we should include down uh, like on the dealership feel free toss her in the comment section if you got any ideas of what I should do with equipment where I should line it up toss her in the comment section anyways guys thanks for watching and hey I'll see you later